guys welcome to my channel i am vk and this is vk says well today i have a superhuman she calls herself superhuman uh, my girl chima she was on the channel a few months back she did the nyc diary from a fiscally challenged person's perspective and um it was amazing to see the comments and the feedback and a lot of people said they're encouraged and some more people shared it with people who were also fiscally challenged and encouraged them and of course this channel is here to uplift and a couple of other things so I went to visit Chima a few days back prior to this video and um, she decided to see me off to the bus station her myself her and her sister and it was a very eye-opening I'm just going to call it eye-opening eye-opening experience for me because I have had physically um, challenged friends and we, we hang and it's cool and nobody makes a big deal about it because we're comfortable um, with what's going on or everybody's situation everybody's peculiarity we're comfortable with it but working with Chima that day and hearing a lot of people say, hey, yeah, oh, so sad. She's too pretty to be in a wheelchair. Oh, and a lot of people will come from the angle of empathy or sympathy. But it's, it was a lot. It was dampening to my spirit. I went home and I was sober. I was so sad all through the day. And I had to call Chima. I'm like, yo, how do you cope with this? He's like, oh, girls have moved past this by now. And I'm like, I can't move past this. I can't, I'm not even hearing this every day and I'm not even moving past this. How do you cope with this? So Chima is here to tell us how to behave. First of all, how to behave right around people that are physically um, challenged and also questions or comments or whatever that is quite inappropriate. So you would like to watch this video so that it just don't annoy anybody or make anybody feel dampened. I'm not physically challenged, but trust me, I don't think I can have that experience twice in a month and not be destabilized don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel ah it's not easy when i didn't see a fine girl like this like this i know welcome superhuman to my channel thank you i live with a condition known as cmt Human Shaka Mari Tooth Disease. I have a problem pronouncing that. Shaka Mari Tooth Disease. Yeah. Okay. So it's a, it's a muscular thing. Uh, it affects both the, the muscles of the hands and legs. Okay. So it, just, it just makes the muscles weak. It's just characterized by the weakness of the muscles. Okay. So this video basically was inspired by that other day that we had to walk to the bus station and everyone mm -hmm. was like, hey, yeah, she's too pretty to be in the wheelchair. Oh, look at, you look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Hey, and all that. So, um, is, is this something you get often? Yes. Like Y-E-S, yes. This type of reaction? Yeah. Yeah. There's more. Hey, yeah, chai. And then the shaking of the head, like, what's wrong with your head? I get a lot, so many. So what is the, I would say, absolute worst experience you can remember or encountered with, you've had with such reactions? Empathic, because people think it didn't be empathic or They're sympathetic not, towards you. They're not being empathetic, not at all. Okay, uh, there was this one time I went to the salon to make my hair and I got out of the car and the lady's like, oh, she's physically challenged. Oh, you could have told me. This kind of people are not supposed to be coming out, you know? I can come to the house and make her hair for her and all that, you know. I'm like, okay, fine. And then uh, finally, I got there some days later to make my hair, and she's like, oh, yeah. If not for this girl's condition, that she's probably already married. <laughs> and here yeah, I am. <laughs> here I am thinking that oh, uh, there's no monitoring spirit in my life. Like nobody's checking out my marital status for me I telling think, me you're supposed to be married so nobody not. so it's like nobody's safe from marriage pressure it's fine. i mean i'm like who, who the hell is this who's this lady you're just the person making my hair you know and then my sister is like eh she's supposed to be married by now but you're the one that says she's not supposed to be coming out of the car or of the house rather and so i'm like people people are just i don't know if they are confused if that's the right word for me to use one minute you think oh i'm supposed to be confined to a place because I have a school challenge and then the other minute you want me to get married how do you want me to find a husband in my house that, that happens um, here in Imo state of worry i noticed that there's a lot of their cars will have um dp um uh, dsc the yeah. sports club they yeah. always have this wheelchair representative saying their cars are wheelchair 
um, friendly, the environment, they try to make you wheelchair friendly. Compared, I've traveled a lot, and compared to a lot of places, I would say Imo State has considerable mm. setup or structures in place for people with dementia. They could do better. Yeah, Other parts of the country could do better. Could. I mean, prior to meeting you, I didn't used to look out for um, ramps. ramps or uh, restrooms that for uh, specifically yeah. disabled people. And the other time, I think it's commendable. Shoprite Port Harcourt mm. had at the third floor they had a restroom for those that are physically challenged. And I'm like, oh wow, okay, we should put this more in our plans because they don't put that as consideration. Yeah. So this this encounter is most important. This may be personal, but how does it make you feel? Right now, over, no, over the years. Over the years, honestly. Initially, I don't know. I think those when people see us, you know, they expect us to be uh, depressed. They don't feel like wheelchairs for fine girls. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they don't feel like wheelchairs for fine girls. And then here I am thinking, okay, who's supposed to be in a wheelchair? Is it supposed to be an ugly person? Like the person is ugly already. If you think the person is ugly, and then you want the person to be in the wheelchair again, like I don't know. There are a lot of things. A lot of misconceptions about people who uh, are physically challenged, people who use wheelchairs. Some people who think we are suicidal. No, I don't want to kill myself. I still like this life so much. It's 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 very 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 annoying. I I didn't you know I didn't like it initially. Not like I like it now, but then initially it was even depressing that I'm going on the street and people are like a hey, uh, Chai, mm -mm. what a world! How can this fine girl be in a wheelchair? And blah 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 blah. But now I've been here for a while, so I'm used to it. Mm. I'm used to it. So, mm. how do you stay happy? She's one of the happiest people I know. She's always laughing, and she believes she's a superhuman with a superpower. Yeah, that's that's her muscle. She always flung you this. guys like see it. I don't know if you've seen it. When you go to your place of inner peace, like find your zen, mm -hmm. how did these reactions make you feel? Insecure. And I was struggling with inferiority complex. Coupled with the fact that I was shy, I still am shy. Are you? Well, oh, you didn't know? I am. Forget all this drama you see on your screen. I'm shy, please. So, uh, insecure, like, I'll start thinking, like, what would people think? How would people see me? You know, if people invite me for an event and all, I always had tons of excuses, which were mainly because I didn't want people to start staring at me in a, a particular way, like they always do. And I didn't want to start feeling small. Like, everyone is standing, and then I'm sitting, and I'm even slouched in the chair. It's like, I need the chair to swallow me. Everybody's looking at me, staring, and doing all that. Hey, yeah, child. Ah, it was bad. But we're good. Yeah. So, how did you get to your place of balance? Ah. Oh, well. It wasn't easy. But then, uh, gradually, I felt that, okay, I went out yesterday, people were staring. I went out today, people were staring, tomorrow they're staring. There's nothing new again. Next morning I go out, they are still staring. Next year they are still staring. Like they don't get to see me every day. So now I feel like if I even go out and they are staring, I'm like, yeah, I'm that fine. They can stare all you want. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm like, okay, they don't get to see me on the street every day. And even if they do, they don't know me. So you guys, yeah, just Taking all this oh, the beauty. Taking right. all this. Oh my gosh. Taking all this. <laughs> <laughs> this is <what> okay, <laughs> so um and that being said, in the intro I said she was going to tell us how to act right. Mm. What is the is there a right way to act? Yes, there is. Being here, we definitely need a lot of things. I mean, people who are physically challenged who use wheelchairs and all, you know, we need a lot of things, we need a lot of help. But one thing we do not need from you. It's pity. No, you're not being empathetic. You're not even being sympathetic at all. It's, it's not helping. So please, we don't need your pity. Two, don't stare. Please, if you feel like we are approachable, very, very approachable. Me, I'm too lovable. Too what? Yeah, yeah. So please, 
uh, don't say too much just at least approach the person say hello you know and a great conversation to start from there please don't stay just and i don't know i feel like we have sense make use of your senses please don't come asking stupid out of the blue questions because i have a whole lot of them that i have been asked what about um, the money when you told me that someone came to you like donate donate is it donate donate they actually think that uh because we're in wheelchairs we are beggars or something i don't know it's, it's so shocking to them that uh you could even be educated you could have a hobby you could be stylish i don't know please we're not beggars we just have uh, issues with uh, mobility that's just what it is the wheelchair is not a disease it's just a mobility aid so yeah uh when you see us on the street i think you should uh encourage us if uh, possible don't uh start treating us like beggars you know throwing money at us you know and uh offering us money one offered me money like i told you and then i didn't collect the money and uh, a lady beside was like ah, collect money he's giving you money i'm not a beggar i'm just i'm, I'm fine you know i'm fine the way i mean it would have been even making more sense if you had come to uh uh sit with me and discuss with me you know make me feel like you see me beyond the chair i mean i know there's a chair obviously but then don't you see me i think we should also educate our children on how to act and that's uh, that actually stems from you as an adult acting right because you know your children are watching and i know that uh, when people see us there's this you know they are always curious they want to ask questions please be guided ask sensible questions make use of your head thank you very much for coming on the show thank you um so do well to follow on all her social media platforms she is a wonderful writer and um, she has amazing content of course on twitter facebook and instagram yeah you have a blog instagram blog not yet okay yeah so when you come so around lazy blog and youtube channel i'll definitely attach the link on my own social media platforms i'll spell the i think i'll just write the yeah. proper spellings and yeah. the direct links will be in the description below mm -hmm. yeah thank you very much for watching if you watch to this point thank you don't forget to hit the subscribe button i please am... do subscribe don't let your ancestors be sitting in the night and just tell subscribe please it's not so difficult press the subscribe button mm. okay she has basically said it all it's at best in career on instagram facebook and twitter for business, contact me at blessingcareer at gmail.com. Till I come your way next time, be fabulous. She might talk to me. No, 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 she doesn't. Huh? Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>